Welcome to my TLDR nice and easy tanking guide for Aberus the Shadowed Crucible LFR. In this video we will talk about the last third boss of Wing 1 of LFR, the Forgotten Experiments. The quick version of it is that you'll need to fight three different mini-bosses in sequence with similar mechanics of something rather obvious that they do a different thing but it's obvious in terms of it's telegraphed for you to prepare for and dodge and I will tell you what it is in a second. But the main issue all three of them do will be for many groups the rapidly stacking debuff of infused strikes that becomes rather unbearable at about 15 plus stacks on an average tank and the tank will go down if the other one doesn't taunt and doesn't do the other important two things. There's a, these are the two things that need you need to keep an eye on. First of all, deadly boss mods add on that we rely on heavily in LFR anytime. It will not tell you exactly when to taunt. That's the first thing to keep an eye on and be aware of. It will just tell you the stack on the other tank. And you two essentially need to agree and decide at which point the other one taunts off. Yes? So, when the other tank gets the same or close enough stack of the debuff, let's say 15, stack of 15, then you run into each other to remove this debuff. So these two things you need to be aware of. That's it. In the heat of the battle, it's much harder to do than you think. Now, a little bit more detail as promised. The first mini-boss that this whole encounter starts with, called Neldris, he does some AoE damage, this and that. It's pretty obvious, like I said. But the main thing for him specifically is that he charges between the targets and does, well, substantial amount of damage, and you should try and get out of his charge path. Logical, isn't it? Second mini-boss, Thadrian, will do barrage of arcane explosions and does generally everything associated with AoE arcane damage all over the place and you need to avoid it if you can. And the final mini-boss, Drakthea Rionthus, will do evoker things like disintegrate and flying all over the place with the fire breath attack back and forth in the path that you need to avoid. But once again, all of them, all of these three bosses, the hardest thing they all do and the only vital thing for you to do as a tank specifically is to keep track of the infused strikes debuff on the other tank. Then you taunt off, you let yourself build up the same number of stacks, and then you run into each other, let's say at 15 stacks. That's it. It's a good boss overall. Nice progressive increase in difficulty between all three bosses of this very first wing of LFR, from very easy to slightly harder. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I hope you also enjoyed this video. Please give the video a like if you did, and watch my other videos if you missed them, uh, to kind of get a proper idea of how to tank other the bosses of Aberus the Shadowed Crucible LFR. Come back for more. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you next time.